tires just got dropped off. I gotta drive all the way to fucking Mesa. I was planning on like being at the mall, so it'd be like a 10 minute drive. Fucking stupid goddamn. It just rings and it rings. Bro, Uber Eats literally has the most obnoxious notification. It's just like a bell and it just doesn't stop. Like, you know, if you get a text message, it just dings once. It just keeps fucking dinging. But I gotta drive all the way to Mesa. I was planning on being at the mall. Which would have taken like 10 minutes, but I'm literally fucking near my house. Uh, but you had to pay for shipping to your house and you could get it dropped off at a FedEx center for free, so. Worth saving eight bucks, I guess. In retrospect, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, I'm just fucking stuck that it got dropped off because it said by the end of the day, so I was thinking. It's like, it's 2 p.m. right now. I was like, fuck, bro. If it gets dropped off at like 6 p.m., I'm fucked because I can't even drop it off at the fucking tire shop. So, fuck yeah. Also, the fucking diffuser and front lip should be here today, too, which is fucking exciting. It never once gave me fucking an estimated delivery date until literally today when the estimated delivery date is today. But, yeah, that's a fucking double dub ski in my book. I'm fucking excited. Alright, what's up, y'all? I'm gonna get this bad boy moved outside so we can throw it up on jack stands, pull these freaking wheels off, so we can drop them off at discount tire to have them new tires mounted. Hopefully, we can fit both tires and these wheels in the Civic. Should be fine with the seats folded down and it's a hatchback. Fingers crossed. I need a freaking pee. Somebody's in the bathroom right now. And yeah, I'm freaking excited to drive this thing out. Still got our work cut out for us, so I still gotta do the freaking front end alignment. And I've been up since like 5 a.m. So I'd like to take a nap while they're doing my tires. So I should wake up feeling refreshed, ready to do an alignment. And let's get these freaking wheels pulled off. I actually might just let it warm up for a minute because the car is not happy. One, with the blown tire. Two, just on cold starts in general. Got my liquids evacuated. Let's zap these little stinkers off of here. These are my only pair of jogging pants clean, so I try my best to keep them clean. Break out a microfiber towel or some shit. Can't wait to freaking drive this thing thing again. Oh yeah, hopefully our JB weld stuck as well. I am slightly worried because I didn't think about it, but the suspension arm probably moved when I let the car down, so hopefully it stayed in place. I figure the JB weld is enough to like kind of hold it together, but we'll see. Right in the crack, it's perfectly in the crack. I 
These tires are going to look so good, though, especially compared to these freaking old-ass Toyo all-seasons with freaking worn shoulders and shit. I guess while I'm jacking up the rear, I might be able to take a peek and see if that JP will door. Car peeing. I can't see shit. Seems pretty solid. I'm gonna give it a good wiggle. It's not coming apart. Seems like it can still articulate fine. That's a dub in my book. Still got all the error messages, but I'm guessing with my OBD2 reader, I can like reset the faults. And before they would just come back right, it would come right back. But hopefully this time I can reset them and they won't come back ideally it's like kind of freaking hot out today and I have like five t-shirts in my in the m3 but since i've been driving the civic i just wore a hoodie out of the house because it's like cold when i leave but i didn't freaking bring any t-shirts so i'm just sweating my balls off just doing like freaking walmart orders where i gotta carry like 32 packs of water and shit and it's like i'm just wearing a freaking hoodie really wasn't that bad, but definitely not uh, hoodie weather right now. I can tell you that much. Not sweater weather. God damn, I got this thing fucking perfectly lined up with every crack on the driveway. Literally need to get high enough to get on jack stands and that's it. Trying to make sure they're both the same height. Good to me. Oh, I mean, drop it that fast. All right. Well, it's crazy. Yesterday, I 
woke up and I felt like sick. Like, couldn't even breathe very well. Like in the shower, I was like, holy shit. This is like seriously uncomfortable. I got like a little cough. Like, you know, your brain just gets that feeling and I was like cold and shit. I was like, damn, I'm getting sick. This is gonna suck. And then I like took a nap later that day. I woke up and I was like, okay, I feel better. But I took like uh, two acetaminophen. Is that how you say it? And uh, so I was like, oh, it's probably just that. I woke up today and I don't really feel sick at all. I don't want to jinx it, but I don't know what the fuck happened there. I don't think I slept very much that day, but I, know, I still don't think it would make me feel like that, but a little strange. That is for sure. discount tire right and usually it's like 50 bucks or whatever which might be like a little bit more expensive than like low-key shops for like for the convenience like literally two minutes from my house so I don't mind bro, bro was trying to charge me $84 so it was one charge for in for mount one charge for unmount then bro was trying to charge me for each tire on installation which they're not even putting it on a car they just need to give me the fucking wheel with the tire on it and he was like, well, we won't balance them if you don't do that. So I was like, all right, bro. <laughs> let me just call around real quick. Call this other shop that's like 10 minutes away from my house that I've been to before. Like, he has like 20 bucks a tire. Bro was trying to fucking rob my ass, bro. $84 to have two, two tires mounted, bro. Two tires mounted and balanced. You don't even got to put them on the car or take them off the car, bro. I'm just handing you them, bro. $84. I'm glad I fucking called and just let this guy fucking rob me blind. Also, last time, they balanced and mount. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't feel unbalanced. And it was fucking $50, so I don't know what's up with this guy. But so we're doing some more driving, but we're saving $40, so we're worth it. Also, also, if you don't... I guess if you're watching my page, you probably like kind of care about cars to some extent. But if you don't know that much about cars, I would just be careful going to places like Discount Tire. Like, I would be, I would just use your own judgment when it comes to tire stuff. Like, like I'm not saying make sketchy decisions, but like if your tread is getting low, this guy's just you're gonna freak out. Just an old lady, of course. Just making a right hand turn and I got a left hand green turn signal. Um <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, if your like tread is low, especially like here in Arizona where it doesn't rain very much, like and if you're like don't have that much money, like it's fine to just <laughs> like I don't know, I guess I shouldn't be recommending you to do sketchy stuff, but like running your tires until they're like really low on tread is not going to be that sketchy as long as it's dry out like it's not like because they'll like fucking see your tires and they're at like 7 30 seconds or whatever and you probably still could get like another like two two three months out of them or something and they'll be like bro you have to replace those or else they're gonna blow out in like the next couple weeks and then fucking make you buy some fucking also you can buy tires on like ebay and like even like simple tires what i use and you can get tires way cheaper like it'll be some like off-brand stuff but bro you're like compared to like michelin's like you'll spend like one fucking fourth of the price which in my opinion it's just fucking rubber like there's nothing fucking magical about michelin's like of course there's more technology put into it but half of the money you're spending towards michelin is probably just half like they're spending half of that money on fucking advertising because they're like one of the biggest brands and of tires but imagine even if for whatever reason it's a sketchy off brand so the tire wears let's even say 200 percent faster like twice as fast but you spent on the low side and it's probably more of a difference than this but say you spent one third of the price of michelin you're still coming out ahead because you could literally buy three of these tires for the one singular Michelin tire. 
So yeah, Simple Tire is sick. And they have like free two or three day shipping. It usually comes in like two days for me. And literally just look up your tire size and just sort from low to high and just fucking buy the lowest or the cheapest tire if you don't care about the performance of the tire. Like at the end of the day, a tire is a tire. It's gonna get you from fucking point A to point B. But yeah, just use your best judgment, I guess. All right, y'all. Just got these bad boys back. Got a little nap in my system. Did not want to get up from that nap. Where the, the pillow was feeling extra comfy. Not gonna lie, but these freaking tires look so good. Still cost me 60 bucks, but it's better than 84. All the leaves are getting to stick to these tires. Alright, so I'm gonna throw these wheels on. That's what they look like, by the way. Throw these wheels on, get a toe measurement, and then basically just throw it back up in the air. I'm trying to think. I guess I only really need to adjust one side, so. Because I was thinking I can put wood blocks under the front wheel so it'll be easier to jack up, but I don't know if that'll fuck up the measurement. But I guess I don't really need to be adjusting both sides until we're setting like the thrust. I think thrust is technically like a rear end thing, but it makes sense on both sides, kind of. But I'm excited to see what this shit looks like. Should be pretty sick. Hopefully it's not a mega pain in the ass to do since it is now dark out. dead flashlight <clears throat> traffic is freaking crazy out there just the amount of old folks like let's be cruising finally find an open spot where you're just cruising at a good speed somebody just turned out in front of you just going slow as hell it's my favorite Great freaking googly googly, dude. Lug nut over here, I don't know how that happened.
Heck yeah, dude. All right, y'all, better drop this bad boy down, see what she looks like. underneath it. So it's good. Only in Arizona can it be four days before Christmas. Sun is down. It's like seven o'clock at night or six o'clock at night. I just sweat my nuts off. Truly something special. forever barking. <laughs> I think that dog just lives outside. Definitely looks better than before. Definitely could fit a 275, but I think these will fit super good if we just dial out the camber. There's just a shit ton of camber right now. It looks so sick though. <laughs> Alright, so what about these darn toe plates? Yeah. <laughs> 
see what we're working with here. Got it stuck on the other side. So the rear is like 73 exactly. The front is like 73 and an eighth. It's honestly pretty damn close. I don't know. I gotta check what the stock specs are. That's a lot closer than I was expecting. So it's really just not even that far off. It's just off center. <clears throat> Alright, I'm a low key. Just take the car for a drive. So we have like two 16s tow out, which is not much really. Um, and I put the steering wheel straight. And it looks pretty straight to me. I mean, those tires were pretty screwed. I wonder if it was just the tires. I'm gonna take it for a drive and see if the steering wheel is off. It's hard to tell, obviously, just by judging, but once I get the car driving in a straight line, it becomes pretty obvious. So, yeah, let's take this little stinker for a drive. All right, got like a million and a half faults. Hopefully, i race these bad boys. See if they come back. I might have to drive the car. So I haven't really driven it at all since I fixed things, but Let's see if this does anything. Yeah, it didn't shit. <laughs> it does look like I can reset that brake maintenance thing through here, though, so that's good. Hit it, reset. Resetted. <laughs> and then I can do the oil one too. So I did that like probably a thousand miles ago, but I didn't reset it because I'm not able to. Resetted. <laughs> All right, let's take this thing for a drive. This thing do be looking good though. All right, so plan of attack. I think we do have two less air coats, so I think both of our fixes worked as far as the EDC thing and the brake sensor thing. We still have three codes. I'm hoping and praying that they are related to the alignment. There's so many, I was reading on forums and people with this problem, it's like people have like 10 different things, like 10 separate things that it points towards. So. It's kind of fucking random. The one thing I know that is wrong is the alignment. Because, like, the steering wheel is still way cranked to the left. Which means the wheels are pointed to the right. So, plan of attack. We have an eighth inch toe out. So, 
I'm just going to start with a quarter turn in of the tie rod um, online people said a quarter turn of a tie rod is between like one eighth inch toe and one sixteenth so that should get us close and then I'm just going to crank basically this tie rod out a full spin, crank that one in a full spin. So get the wheels pointed to the left. Hopefully it's not too hard to pull the tie rod off the knuckle. I know sometimes that's kind of a pain in the ass, but let's just go ahead and give it a shot. <clears throat> yeah, the alignment's definitely still real fucked up because my freaking turn signals still don't even work, which is very annoying. Just ate some delicious spaghetti with some garlic bread. Shout out my pops. Our handy dandy flashlight. Oh. Might be easier if I just crank the steering wheel to be honest. Looks like big old nut right there brother 21 maybe the good old classic torque on that bad boy torques Is indeed a twenty one. Go ahead and see if I can crank this wheel. Hopefully, it's not too sketch. <laughs> There's the car on the jack. I'll give it a shot. Not too bad at all. <clears throat> Guess I can pull this bad boy a little closer here. Gotta get a counter on how many times I've said bad boy this video. Hopefully I can get the impact in here to make my life Ow, a 
whole lot easier. keeps it tight as well instead of like a lock nut but it is smooth so I'm guessing it's a fucking Torx of course right. made a little Acer run luckily I got the right size I kind of guessed I just based it off I found some tutorial online for an E90 and it said that this bad boy is a T50 it is the same on this bad boy. Right, got everything nice and loose. Now we just gotta try and get this little stinker off the knuckle. Usually the trick is hit it with a hammer. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so I try and mail it first. Out of respect for my neighbors. And then this don't work. Might have to switch switch up the plan. See, I don't even, I don't even personally want to hear that shit. You gotta put on like fucking earmuffs when you do that shit. Ow. Uh, can't do that like this. Fucking goofy all angle. Pop out, but it's like slowly coming out. Oh, there we go. Nice, not too shabby. All right. So, if I remember correctly, I'm gonna do basically whole spin out. So, one whole spin out. quarter inch more toe in so we'll just fucking do a little quarter turn like that inwards and then on the other side we're gonna do full spin inwards hopefully that makes sense tight for now so we can adjust it easier so now go ahead and crank the wheel back and we'll do the other side 
All right, so I did actually end up fully tightening everything because I can't really freaking just eyeball how straight the steering wheel is in relation to the wheels. So I'm pretty much gonna have to drive the car. Uh, so everything's nice and tight. The tie rods pop off the knuckle like super easy, which makes my life so much easier. Um, so we basically screwed out this side a full spin, then turned it back in a quarter spin. And then the other side is spun inwards a full spin. So we're gonna measure the toe then take it for a test drive. Even if the toe isn't perfect, we can adjust it again once we come back. But steering wheel is the main thing here. All right, so in the front we have, trying to apply even pressure, but front we have like, 72 and two hash marks before seven eighths. And then in the rear, can't see a damn thing. But it's about the exact same thing 72, two hash marks before seven eighths. So the toe is like perfectly straight now, which is fucking awesome. We kind of nailed the guessing game on that. So now we can pull these toe plates off, take it for a test drive, see how straight the steering wheel is. But now we can just, assuming, well, hopefully it's straight and we don't have to fuck with it anymore, but assuming that it's not going to be straight on our first try, because I have no idea how much a steering wheel adjustment is compared to a tie rod spin. Um, now we don't have to make any side-by-side -side adjustments. We can just spin each tie rod equally. might be hard to pick up on camera it's still just a little bit off went from like <laughs> i guess it wouldn't be nine o'clock like 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock so i'm guessing maybe just like three quarters turn more still got all of our dash lights hopefully they just go off my freaking turn signal still does not go off on its own so i don't know what the fuck all right y'all i am fucking absolutely mentally drained at this point it's time for your boy black cat crossing the street it's bad luck but i like cats so it's probably good luck um i'm glad i stuck with it so the steering wheel is still a little bit off we went too far to the left so now the steering wheel is just a little bit to the right so i think we got to do like half of a three-quarter turn it's like a little bit less than a half turn back to the right to get it like perfect but it's close enough to where it like won't drive me insane where i feel like a fucking idiot driving down the road like this the toe should be close to zero it should be zero but with us adjusting it it might have got messed up but i'm not gonna mess with it right now we gotta adjust it anyways to get the steering perfectly centered but the car feels fucking good again it's literally driving me nuts i was like this car is just fucked now like what the fuck so i finally i was just literally just drained after all that i was like fuck i fixed the brake sensor i fixed that rear sensor fixed the alignment and it's still fucked i was just sitting in the car kind of frustrated just reading every single forum post a lot of people were saying it was a wheels wheels wheel speed sensor oh i finally just plugged the code reader back in and i was just gonna try and find to see if i could find a code for the wheel sensor and i found Fuck, I don't even know what it is. But basically you can read the codes for the body sensors. And I just cleared like four of them. So I guess hopefully it doesn't come back. But it seems good. The car like actually has full power now and it has traction control. It feels like the way the car should be again. Um, so the only code that came back when I restarted it was... Fuck, I already forgot. It was like chassis function restricted. Which seems like probably like strut related or something like that, but it's at least not messing with the car like at all. Um, and that one didn't even come back. I, it came on as soon as I started the car and I cleared it and it, I did like a three mile drive and it didn't come back. So we'll see tomorrow, but thank God the car fucking finally feels good again. And when I went to clear the codes pretty much on like all three of them, it was uh, like electrical power st or electrical steering sensor was off 
and the brake thing. So we fixed both of those things. So hopefully it doesn't come back. So fingers crossed, but tires feel good. Car feels good. I'm a happy guy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to edit this, probably go to fucking sleep. But yeah, that's it. We have the freaking diffuser in the lip inside the house. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but I might fuck around with that tomorrow. Or I might just do a driving video since I haven't been able to drive the car. I can actually film a freaking fun little driving video. I hadn't even done a single skid with these freaking tires because I couldn't turn traction control off. So, yeah. Catch you guys next time.